After the Second World War, democratic and capitalist countries were developing in the Western Europe. Poland found itself in the communist bloc, dependent on the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The only political party in the country was Polish United Workers' Party. In 1980, the opposing social movement was created. It gathered 10 million people and was called Solidarność. That in Polish means solidarity. Lech Wałęsa, an electrician from Gdańsk shipyard, became its leader. 1981 was marked by the declaration of martial law in Poland. Communist authorities did that to eliminate Solidarność and crush the opposition. At the end of the 80s, Poland was immersed in deep crisis, which the authorities were unable to solve. The Workers' Party decided to negotiate with the opposition and partially share the power. From February to April 1989, the so-called Round Table talks took place. The authorities negotiated with the opposition at the Round Table to emphasize in this symbolic manner that there are no better or worse seats. The talks resulted in decisions which were the basis for peaceful political transformation in Poland. It was decided that elections to Sejm will be partially free. The ruling forces were granted two-thirds of the seats in Sejm and one-third of seats was open to the opposition. The Senate, with 100 members, was created. The elections to Senate were fully democratic. The legalization of the Solidarność movement, the first independent trade union, was authorized. What's more, the first independent opposition newspapers, Gazeta Wyborcza and Weekly Solidarność, were also created. The elections took place in June 1989. The opposition's candidates enjoyed the victory. In theory, the majority in Sejm still belonged to the Workers' Party. Nevertheless, this was the beginning of the time of changes and reforms. The first non-communist prime minister was Tadeusz Mazowiecki, an oppositionist and activist of Solidarność. The economic transformations also took place in Poland. During the following two years, Polish economy was almost entirely changed from socialism to capitalism. It was feasible due to reforms. The first of those was called the Mieczysław Wilczek's Law. The author was the then Minister of Industry. It allowed every citizen to set up and run business on equal rights. The law was only five pages long and until today is perceived as the model of an economic freedom. The second important reform was called the Balcerowicz Plan. The author was the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Finance in one person. The Balcerowicz Plan was based on 10 legal acts shifting Polish economy fully into capitalism. The execution of the plan began in 1990 and was finalized in only 111 days. The public opinion called the Balcerowicz Plan a shock therapy. The final stage of the political transformation were three presidential elections. They were held in November 1990 and were won by Lech Wałęsa. The completely free parliamentary elections took place a year later, in 1991. Poland began its adventure with democracy.